Hi, my name is Danilo Gardi. I'm the CEO of uh, IMEG International USA and uh, Chief Engineer of Euro American Engineering. Our company uh, manufactures system for alternative fuel for automotive fuel. Let me show you today, uh, this is a cylinder of ethane. Ethane has never been used as motor fuel. It is a gas that is liquid at 565 psi at ambient temperature, so pretty no high pressure. It is containing natural gas as it came from the ground and separated by the natural gas uh, with the dynamic process. We have developed an injection system uh, using uh, both gasoline or ethane as we do for bike fuel vehicle with CNG and gasoline or LPG or gasoline. We have developed this system for Nucor, one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, steel producer in the United States. This project is started uh, a couple of months ago. Uh, we have developed new components and new electronics to make the vehicle work properly with this new fuel in bi-fuel mode so the driver can choose to ride the vehicle with gasoline or with ethanol. Let me show you now the system. The system is composed by a array of injectors that are one for bank that is added to the gasoline injectors in electronic control unit that uh, compute the data from the OEM ECU recalculating all the algorithms and the parameters to make the engine properly work with ethane and a, a regulator that has been redesigned in three states with one stage to reform the atom from liquid and stabilize the pressure at two states to control the pressure. The pressure is controlled electronically. Uh, the ethane has a pressure in the fuel rate that goes pro from 1.3 bars to 2 bars depending by the demand of the engine. Uh, the, the electronic in our side, it works directly with the, uh, the OEM electronic comparing the requirement that by the OBD protocol to keep the emission the lower possible. Surprisingly, on the test on the road we have, we have made today, it came out that the vehicle is more efficient with ethane than gasoline. Basically, this vehicle is rated by EPA in a city cycle 14 miles per gallon. A, with a test of 20.5 miles with ethane, same performance, almost the same performance with gasoline. I would say a little better torque and we have done 14.5 miles per gasoline gallons equivalent. And this is very surprising. It surprised me because uh, ethanol has never been used by our company and none of the company that manufacture alternative fuel systems in the world. We are the first in the world to do this. Uh, and as you will see in the following part of uh, this movie, uh, the vehicle drive Flawless, uh, excellent performance, good acceleration, perfect idle, it's perfectly drivable without any hesitation, and we are very proud of the result we have obtained. For the storage of the fuel, we have modified a commercial CNG tank. The tank is uh, locked on the bed as we do for the CNG system has been modified with a new design valve at three-way is a solenoid valve so the valve open and close com uh, controlled by the electronics and uh, uh, we have basically uh, designed an internal pickup to pick up vapor only and not, and, and not liquid fuels to basically make the system function proper. The tank is obviously overweighted and overrated because it rated 3600 psi when our ethane inside is around at ambient temperature is around 500 to 700 psi but was basically the only tank usable 
So for future application, probably chromoly steel welding tank will be a lot lighter, a lot compact, it can contain more ether. We are also now uh, analyzing, analyzing the emissions to show how low the carbon emission, the CO, the carbon monoxide is uh, with the engine running with that. Here now we connect uh, uh, our computer starting the software that control the biofuel system. And basically, we have noticed another interesting point. Uh, with the engine running with ethane, the injection time are slightly slower than gasoline injection time. That means that ethane burns better and the combustion is better. With our software, you see the, the yellow are the gasoline time and the blue are the ethane time. The gasoline time is slightly higher than ethane. That means that ethane is more efficient than gasoline burning in the chamber. With this software, we can control the calibration in a load way or in a tab way, where depending by the load and depending by the RPM, we can calibrate the injection time. You see, this is low load, high load injection time are, are uh, basically higher. And then our system, and this is the beauty of this new fuel we are using, is directly connected to OBD. So this is the trigger that the factory have established to make the engine run properly. When the red index is on zero, or in the green range, basically, it means that the engine is running as the factory uh, set up to run. Correction are within zero to two percent. To give an idea, when we run with different alternative fuel, the correction goes to seven, eight, ten percent. So this is a fuel real promising uh, as a thermodynamic effect that is outstanding. And I would say also that our software works pretty good. Uh, we think it will be a great potential for the future, and uh, in my opinion, we really hope that someone understands the importance of what we have achieved today. Thank you. Now the gas analyzer is connected, the vehicle is running methane. You can see the screen, we have only two parts per million of particulate, hydrocarbon and combustion, so very low. CO2 is zero or minus zero. O2 is 20%, so it means the combustion is almost perfect. But what is really surprising, please look the value of the CO. It is absolutely zero carbon monoxide. This is the road testing with the new course uh, for the F-150 converted with the Iveca USA Ethan biofuel system. We are trying to determine how much efficient is the ethane compared to gasoline. So we are taking a 30 miles ride we have in the, in the bed, we have a welding cylinder that was 133.2 pounds of weight when we start. So we will take this ride of 30 miles and uh, we will reweight the welding cylinder to see what the final consumption would be. The vehicle runs fantastic. Torque is uh, slightly better than gasoline. Acceleration is... Uh, you can see in front, the sensation is outstanding. So I would say slightly lower than the performance than gasoline, but very similar. So no hesitation, perfect drive ball, very smooth, torque is there.
Now we just need to see what the efficiency is.